But before that, I want to start with your childhood because uh, you, your father played a, a, a big role in pushing you towards business, yep. getting a job, all that. Tell me what he was yep. like. So I am the daughter of an immigrant from India, and he always kind of grew up with this idea that anything less than two or three jobs just wasn't enough. And right, so that was a lot of fun growing up. Um, and by the time I could remember, he would say these things like, you're living in a country where you can start your own business. And at five, you're like, huh? You know, you just, <laughs> you want the latest doll that you see on TV. But both my brother and I have gone on to what we really always wanted to do. And so does that come from that um, kind of pushing, you know, you're, you're in a country where you can start anything? Perhaps, maybe. And, and he told you at one point to go to the mall and don't come back until you have a job. Yes. When you were so actually, the rule was by the time you were 14, you had to contribute to the household expenses. And so I didn't really take him seriously. But sure enough, on my 14th birthday, he dropped me off at McDonald's and said, don't come home until you have a job. Well, I love McDonald's, but I didn't want to work there. And so I took a bus to the mall and um, got a job. Contempo Casuals, if any of you remember it. <laughs> some familiarity there. I picked something, um, if I had to work, that I knew I would love. Because even at that age, I knew that clothing could transform myself and therefore other people. And then I'm going to jump really far ahead to 2004. You start your company. Uh, what gave you the confidence and the, the, what did you see? What hole in the market were you trying to fill? You know, it's interesting. So I had been working at that point from 14. I didn't start my company until about 28, 29. So working in retail the whole time, all through college, um, graduated, went right back into retail. And was a little disappointed with that, but finding a job is very difficult. So I had a full-time job when I started my own company. And many times it's what you have to do to be able to supplement. I had no business plan. I had... Um, really no aspirations of huge global success. I didn't like the clothes that I was currently making, but I did a really good job at it. I was very respectful to the owners, and I wanted to create what I actually loved. And so that's how my company started. It started without that rush or that need to cover overhead. Um, it was a passion project.